We're going to talk about the scent. It's on the top of a womb. Oh gosh, I smell it right now and I'm getting weak in the knees. Okay, <laughs> we like it when you smell good. Fragrance expert Katie Buckrick from YouTube's Katie Buckrick smells here to break down the attraction scents for men. Just in time for Father's Day, a lot of people may be buying some, you know, nice stuff for their exactly. dads. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Sally. Okay, so let's talk about this because this is something that I learned too. I, I even learned that scent can make or break a marriage. Like people get divorced over it. It's so sensitive. Yes. Your partner yeah. smell. Absolutely. I mean, people are actually initially attracted to each other because of their own built-in smell. I mean, not, it's the factory preset smell. People are attracted to the person who's gonna compliment their uh -huh. own natural smell. I know, my husband got me from that smell. He walked in the room, he walked by and went. <laughs> <laughs> it was and like, he got me. It was, like was a, it. it was like a Pepe Le Pew yes. experience. You're yes. just floating along. <laughs> okay, so what kinds of colognes, because there's different, There's there are different kinds. They've got the spicy, you got yes. the sweet, you got the sultry. Well, the things that people, yeah, I get questions all the time on okay. Katie Puggart Smells from guys who say, what will attract a woman? What I, is it? You know, I need that magic potion, that magic bullet. I just need those women to follow me. Well, that's like saying, what food do all women like? What oh. is all women's favorite color? There's no such thing. What you need to do is wear the thing that you like. Okay. Guys like to, they need to smell the, the way that makes them feel fantastic and superhero -ish. But. But, but can we agree that there are certain smells that there just don't are. smell good? There are certain smells that don't smell good. And I mean, really for an attraction smell, uh -huh. you need to have something that is inviting. You don't want to repel. It can't be loud. You don't want to overdo. You want to draw somebody in. Yeah, so, like those men that just, yeah, and they just you can. Woo. I mean, that's like there's open for business and then there's advertising all over the world and okay. you don't want that. So you brought a few um, different samples. Yes. We're I, gonna we're gonna sample them. Um, this is Gendarme. It's Gendarme. by Gendarme. Gendarme. And in fact I've sprayed a little bit on my hands so you can get into it. And oh. this is kind of a stealth mm. seduction fragrance. It's the smell of amplified bear. Letting go of your hand. I noticed that. It's the smell of amplified bear skin. It's kind of like bear skin on the beach. There's okay. and not bear skin as uh, bear. Okay. Although that might come later. That might. But it's, it's <laughs> like might. soft musk. It's a little soapy, but it's very. It's just. It smells soapy. It and, and clean. And clean and also a little bit like you just think about nudity. Which is a good thing. Okay. Prada. This is uh, Amber Pour Homme Intense by Prada, and this is on this this hand here and this is a little sensual and inviting now you're making a little squinchy face there shally yeah but that could be because i have baby too and i'm really sensitive to smell you but have that baby. doesn't well the thing with this is that it's got a little bit of chocolate little little it bit does. of patchouli you don't like the I'm chocolate not, i'm not into that and a little bit of leather so it's everything that you like to lick and lie on which is a positive thing when you're thinking about inviting a seductive fragrances. Okay, let's go to the third one. Now, this is a, a little bit of a, a um, goof-proof uh, magic potion fragrance. Oh, that fragrance. still in my nose, okay. And this one is called Molecule 01, and it is very simple, you're smelling the wrong end. It's oh. uh, cedarwood, it's sandalwood, and this is the fragrance that, this makes people just stop what they're doing and go, who smells so good? I must be with that person. This is a this is goof proof. Okay, I'm not putting this down. Katie, my um, goodness. Stick around because she's going to be back in our nine o'clock <laughs> hour for picking the fra favorite fragrance for dad. And by the way, you can get tips from uh, Katie. You can check out her YouTube channel. There it is. Uh, Katie Puckrick smells. We have a link on our website. <laughs> you just got to click the scene on tab. Raul for Brucey, it's Chanel Platinum. <laughs> it will take me down Chanel to the <laughs> underground. <laughs> So fast, like he could do the worst thing in the world. He could just go, ch ch done. Yes, baby, whatever you say, my love. This is good too. What do you wear, Raul? I don't wear anything. I wear me. <laughs> I know. I know. You did not just say that in your outlaw voice. <laughs> I had nothing. I had nothing. You I'm gonna ask Kate because we're what? talking to Katie later. I ask about how much is too much because even if that is good, what your husband wears, there's a threshold. No. Yeah. Or you don't bathe in it. No. I always ask her the same thing because there's a lot of people oh, who simply so wear good. too much makeup. Oh, yeah. Are we moving on? 